In 218 BC, Hannibal made Carthage master of all Spain. Rome, jealous of the threat to her power, promptly found a pretext to declare war. The mount is ready. Good. Get. While Rome prepared to invade Spain by sea, Hannibal stole a march on his arch enemy. He crossed the Pyrenees into the valley of the Rhone. Summer found him at the foot of the Alps. Continue, Minucius. I repeat, only a madman would dare to cross the Alps with a horde of thousands and scores of elephants, I tell you. Far from being alarmed, we, the Senate of Rome, should rejoice, offer thanks to the gods, because just as surely as if our legions confronted Hannibal, the snow and the bitter cold will defeat this arrogant barbarian. And if any Carthaginians should survive their own death trap, they will be so exhausted that our own border legions will make short work of them. Quiet, quiet! Fabius Maximus has the word. Correct me if I am mistaken, Minucius, but I was under the impression our border legions have their hands full, subduing the backward Gauls. Fabius has always... What are you going to leave them to face Hannibal? Scipio's army will join them. In time? I doubt it. Fabius is always a harsh critic of this administration. Where? Where? I say, Fabius is right. Let him speak. I merely wish to caution against over-optimism. In a few short years, Hannibal united all Spain, not by force of arms alone, but fine diplomacy. A man of his shrewdness will not let the Alps become a death trap. Hannibal will be pleased to know that he has such a staunch admirer in the Roman Senate. Listen! Listen! Quiet! Hannibal is crossing the Alps! The Roman garrisons are in flight! Is no one opposing him? Only Rutarius. But he was always against us. Rutarius and his tribe know their mountains. They'll be able to slow Hannibal down. So the fate of Rome is in the hands of an enemy of Rome. Remember, you're the best man in your regiment. On your feet.
Keep moving, men. Keep that line going. Come on, it's dangerous. Watch your step. Keep moving. Don't stop. Ah! Ah! Come on, move ahead. Watch your step there. Keep going. Move ahead. Come on. 
turn back to go back would be madness there's nothing left for us to do but to go forward hmm. until we fall in our tracks not you marma you're indestructible hannibal relieve me of my command relieve you of your command why do you always want to leave me my first allegiance is to carthy and mine isn't whose army do you think i command your command is in Spain, not here in these accursed mountains. Return to Spain before you are recalled in disgrace to Carthage. Would I march my army halfway across Europe and be camped here in these forbidding Alps? If there was any other way for me to prevent Rome from invading our homeland? Stay with me, Marva. I need you. You and my brothers have always been my strength. The great conqueror needs no strength but his own. I'll bring him back. It's always the same old story. He quits, but he never leaves you. Hey, Maribel! Hannibal! Rutarius and his men are surrendering. Rutarius has come down to negotiate. See, my brother, we must always teach ourselves to be patient. will listen to you. Are you Rutarius? I am. Speak. Do not think I have come to surrender. I am here to offer you an alliance. I don't accept conditions. I think you are a clear thinking man. My tribes can block your way into Italy for a long time. With my help, you can be master of the plane in a few days. Just what do you want in return for this? Supremacy of my tribe over all the other tribes in the valley. I accept.
Don't you fool. Help him. Go on. Get out of the way. Take the bat. Take the bat. Take them back to their trainers. Tell them the next time this happens, there'll be severe punishment. When will they ever understand that the elephant is one of our most valuable weapons? If you had been killed, it would have been all over with us. Why do you always set so little value on yourself, brother? Keep my end of a bargain. I will return to my mountains. What is this dark mood that has come over you, brother? Conquering the Alps in 15 days? Why, it's a miracle. Seems more like... 15 years. When we started, we had 40,000 men. Now less than half answer the roll. And I tell myself I serve the gods. Tomorrow at this time, the men will be enjoying the Roman harvest and tasting the wine of this land. Get the elephant started. Come on. Well done. 
With men like you, we can conquer the world. Want a drink? Very good. But wait till you taste the wines of Rome. <laughs> and what about the women? Women? I don't know. That's for every man to find out for himself. <laughs> are having a good time and believe you me they deserve it yes let the romans try to stop them they haven't got a chance <laughs> <laughs> be sure and take good care of them they're our most important weapon don't worry i'll take care of them <laughs> Hasdrubal, Hannibal wants us at his tent. Right away. What about you? Aren't you coming? Later. I've got to finish over at the gate. All right. Come on. We have reasons to celebrate, gentlemen. Italy and your words have given the men new life. And a new will to fight. Now, don't expect miracles. I certainly don't expect to conquer Italy with a decimated army. What we need are allies. Allies to undermine and destroy the political unity of Rome. I'll give you this toast, gentlemen. We must put cold fear into the heart of every Roman. How? By corrupting their minds with fear. Have our spies spread the word of Hannibal's invincible might. Rome must hear of fire and pillage. But let it be known that as merciless as Hannibal is to his enemies, he is generous to his allies. I want fires built all over these hills as far as you can see. And when night falls, have our men light each one of them. Let it appear like nations are encamped here. The Romans must believe our strength is double, even triple of what it actually is. Hannibal, there is a Roman slave who claims he has information for you. But I'm sure that you don't want to be bothered with him. You're wrong. We can't afford to overlook anything. Always remember that. Bring him in. I can tell you where to find an important hostage. By the gods, she is a treasure for ransom. Speak up. Is it worth my freedom? I don't bother with prisoners. Take him away. No, no, don't let them torture me. I throw myself at the mercy of the all-powerful Hannibal, liberator of the oppressed. Let him go. The niece of Fabius Maximus. Fabius, the senator? <laughs> A most important senator. By the gods, she is worth her weight in gold. Or to keep for yourself. You'll find her at her summer villa near here. Take him away and lock him up. Does your father know that you drove all the way here? I had no time to ask him, but I'm sure he would have approved. You know how much he likes you. And I feel the same way. What am I going to do with you, Quintilius? Do you know that if anything happens to you, I'll get the blame? Why do you always treat me like a boy? Believe it or not, I am grown up. Now, come on, get in. Mistress, shouldn't we hide and wait until after dark? No, we must get started for Rome immediately. Carthaginians! <laughs>
harm comes to him. Be a good boy and come along. who might have killed you for this. I would rather die than be a slave of that monster. Is that what the Romans call Hannibal? A monster? <laughs> if he heard what you said, he'd probably cut your tongue out. Whatever he does to me does not matter. He will never defeat Rome. Very well spoken. Your uncle, Senator Fabius, should be very proud of you. How do you know who I am? One of your most faithful servants tried to border your life for his. You are right. My uncle is Senator Fabius. He's quite a rich and powerful person in Rome. He could make you wealthy. Wealthy? If you let me and the boy go free. You seem very attached to him. But he's a youngster. I'm responsible for him. My uncle would pay you very well for delivering us from Hannibal. He could even appoint you an officer in one of our legions. Very interesting. I could promise you a career. Hmm. You know, Hannibal would skin me alive if he thought I even listened to you. But I'll think about it. Will you do it? First, I must take you back to camp. You are Hannibal. Yes. I want to thank you for your very generous offer. What do you intend to do with me? First, I want to toast to your beauty. Then I want you to dine with me. Of course, you'll have to forgive my lack of Roman delicacies, but I do hope you'll join me. What is the meaning of this? I'm your prisoner. Why don't you treat me like one? Prisoner? You're my guest. In Rome, a guest may leave when she likes. On a night like this? With the road infested with soldiers? What kind of a host do you take me for? Then when may I leave? In the morning, perhaps. Do you really expect me to believe you? I can't force you to believe me. I can only promise you. What is the reason behind your generosity? I'm only generous because I can afford it. Will you let my young friend Quintilius go too? That all depends on you. What do you mean? You know you're a very difficult person. Maybe you'd care to take a walk. The night air is cold, you might need it. Where are you taking me? Show you the camp. Of what possible interest could that be to me? I thought maybe you might be interested to see how we barbarians live. What are all those lights? They're arranged by nations. Over there are my Numidian. And over here is my Libyan cavalry. And over here on the far right are my Spaniards, the greatest horsemen on the continent. And up here, 
are my Carthaginians. The main core of my strength. Every soldier is a veteran of many years. Let me go. Please, let me go. What's the matter? I'm cold. that Hannibal? Sure. I'd like to be in his place. She's a pretty girl. How dare you? Stop! Leave him be. This prisoner's under Hannibal's protection. These are my elephants. The strongest beasts known to men. Look at them. See how huge they are? Nothing can stop them. <laughs> Don't be frightened. He only hurts my enemies. What do they do in battle? Very simple. He's been trained to trample everything in his path. you to take a message to your uncle. What message? Tell him that Hannibal seeks peace. Peace? Hannibal, the ruthless aggressor, wants... Aggressor. <laughs> aggressor. It was your country that started this war, not mine. The Carthaginians have always wanted peace. But they wanted to live like a free nation, not a subject province of Rome. I was told that when you and your brother were boys, you swore an oath on your father's sword to destroy Rome. You're wrong. We swore never to bend a knee to Rome, which is quite different. We talk, but we don't understand each other. Why does he take so long? <laughs> and what are you? His nursemaid? He's old enough to take care of himself. I don't think your brother will get much sleep tonight. You're mistaken. The girl goes back to Rome. We came to Italy to destroy Rome, not for foolish sentimental gestures. Do you think I sent that girl back because I'm infatuated with her? There are more ways to win a war than one. Quintilius! Hannibal's compliments. He asks to be excused. He bids me to wish you a pleasant journey. He hopes to see you again soon. In Rome! Rome? <laughs> What's wrong? Where were you all night? What price did you pay for our liberty? Sylvia. You're a child. We owe our freedom to Hannibal's generosity. Come on! Because I know you, Sylvia, I cannot accept that you've done anything wrong. But I fear that you misunderstand Hannibal's real intentions. And I cannot suspect him. We were his prisoners. He had the life of your son in his hands. He could have demanded anything in exchange. Hannibal wants one thing only. He knows that he can never attain it. Even if he killed my son. I'm sure he wants peace. He wants the end of Rome. He knew very well that you would bring back the news of his might. 
He hoped that this report would cause fear and alarm. That is why he let you go. Can't you see how cleverly he used you? You're blind with hate. Let us try. What can Rome lose by waiting to find out if Hannibal is sincere or not? If he is, thousands of lives will be spared. He would interpret such a move as proof of our weakness. Your feelings have no place in war. Didn't I tell you? She has lost her head. She is a woman, Quintilius. Don't let us lose ours. Hannibal has two terrible enemies. Time and distance from home. Let us tire him, wear him down with skirmishes, ambush his vanguards. Each day, each hour that passes is another arrow for our bows. <laughs> Senator Fabius has strange ideas. Was there not one with skirmishes and hit and run tactics? has reached the banks of the Trebia with 40,000 trained men. I say, why don't we attack? A decisive victory in open battle might well mean the end of the war. Let us drive Hannibal out of Italia. For the sake of Rome, let's hope that what I suggested was wrong. Careful, men. Hannibal 
some of the Roman infantry managed to get away in the river. Let them go. And assemble your men. See that they get a good night's rest. Tomorrow morning we march on to Etruria. Very well. Your eye seems worse. You must take care of it. You sound like our mother. proper instruments. Can't you get them? It would take too much time. Oh. Many men have come down with fever, but this... Oh. Stop the pain, at least. Oh. <clears throat> Hannibal, please. Tell me the truth. Will I lose the sight of my eye? I don't think so. But you will have to suffer much pain. Let's get it over with. There's a battle is raging at Trasimeno. The majority of the Senate made this decision. The people are against Frominius, and we must bow to their will. Leave the people out of it. They believe whatever you make them believe. Whatever happens, you too will share the responsibility. We only serve the gods, and the gods are against Flaminius. Blasphemy! The gods have nothing to do with it. It's not the gods who are against Caius Flaminius but his political rivals. And they are taking advantage of foolish superstitions to replace him. I will no longer support with my presence errors which can only bring the destruction of Rome. Milady, a merchant outside the postern gate begs to display his wares. Not today. He begs me to tell Milady he has jewelry wrought in Carthage. And ivory as white as the Alps. How dare you enter without my lady's permission? No, let him stay. Oh, would you please bring me my shawl? It's getting chilly. My lady is most kind to look at my unworthy trinkets. You can stop acting now. You're no merchant. What do you want? I was ordered to deliver this to you. Come. What is it? Hannibal. Yes. He wants you to have it. You may need it. Why? The fall of Rome seems to be inevitable. The Minius has been wiped out at Trasimeno, and the road to Rome is now open. He's very worried about your safety. Who are they? A delegation from the Senate. Take this and go before you're discovered. Please keep it. Please. 
It's worth my life if I don't carry out his orders. With this ring, you have nothing to fear. You have only to show it, and no Carthaginian soldier will dare harm you. If you wish, you can use it as a safe conduct to cross our lines. Your absence from the Senate is very serious. It has left us without the benefit of your counsel. The defeat we suffered at Trasimeno opens the gates of Rome to Hannibal. We need you badly, Fabius. You must return to the Senate. The time for debate is over. We must unite. We are going to bring back our legions from Gaul and draft every man who can hold his sword. If you already know what to do, why come to me? Do you have another solution? Do not misunderstand. The time for discussion and debate is over. I fully agree. Rome needs one man now to make decisions and assume full responsibility. What you are proposing is dictatorship. The Senate will never consent to it. Since you have made all the decisions before you came here, I can only hope that you are right. Why are they here? I will not. We have been defeated at Trasimeno. They are sure that nothing can stop Hannibal. But that's wrong. Hannibal still wants to negotiate. How do you know? You represent the people. Look, Hannibal's ring. A merchant gave it to me. Are you out of your mind? Are you still in contact with Hannibal? Don't be a child. Hannibal only made contact with me because he wants peace. What are you going to do? Go to him. With this I can cross his lines. Sylvia, you are impossible. If these senators find out that you are in touch with Hannibal's spies, my father would be ruined. We'd better perish than let you beg the enemy for peace. Let go of me, you're hurting me. Sylvia, Sylvia, don't you understand? Hannibal doesn't want peace. He sent the ring for one purpose only. What do you mean? He wants you thought of seeing you. What are you trying to say? Sylvia, I... I love you. Quintilius, please try to make sense. We grew up together. You're like my brother. You lie. You love Hannibal. citizens to arms. Let me enlist. I won't stop you. It is your duty. Thank you, Father. I'll make you proud of me. I'm sure you will, son. I hope it won't be in vain. We will drive Hannibal out of Italia. We all want that. However, haste and panic are seldom the road to victory. If only we could negotiate a truce with him. Three months' time would give us the chance to train reserves and manufacture enough weapons to replace nearly all we have lost to Hannibal. We need time. No price is too high to pay for it. Why stay here? There is nothing to stop us from taking Rome now. Everything that glitters to you is always gold. For the time being, I have no intention to leave here. You know how to win victories, but you don't know how to exploit them. We'll let history be the judge of that. Hannibal! A woman came to our outpost asking to see you. She gave us this ring. She's over there. All right, men. Thanks for coming. 
I'm here because I need your help. I was afraid you wouldn't come. I'm here because you spoke to me of peace. Peace is impossible, you know that. But you sent me to my uncle with a message of peace. It seemed the only solution then. Why did you send for me now? Because I wanted to see you. And I hoped that you wanted to see me. I'm here for the good of Rome. Is that the only reason you came? What else could there be? What happened to you? Don't worry. It'll be all right. Oh, please. Please let me return to Rome with an offer of peace from you for everybody. Impossible. Who makes Hannibal's decisions for him? Carthage. My generals. My men. Stop. Follow me. Please keep this for me. For us. No, please. your life once. It's a strange way for you to repay me. What's your name? Quintilius, son of Fabius. Oh, the son of the sun. Very clever of you, your uncle. Release them. to the truth. And I repeat, I went to Hannibal only because I thought I could convince him to make peace. You were in his arms when I found you. Can you deny it? Then it is true? Yes, it is true. I love him. Nothing was further from my thoughts than to betray you or my family or Rome. You have brought dishonor to this house. I'm trying to win the trust of the Senate. And you, my own niece, throw yourself into the arms of an enemy. There is a punishment in Rome for women like you to be buried in the earth till you are dead. I cannot denounce you to the authorities. I have loved you like a daughter since as a little girl you were brought to my home. Still you must pay for your crime. Tomorrow you will be taken to the temple of Vesta to live there all your life in chastity. 
with the women who dedicate themselves to the service of the goddess. Pitch camp here is ridiculous. Rome is only a few miles away. It's Hannibal's order. We've got them on the run. Why not take advantage of it? In four days, we could celebrate our victory in Rome. Hannibal has no time to beleaguer the city. But that's foolish. They can't defend Rome with the few companies they have left. Sylvia? What are you doing here? I searched the whole house for you. It's very late. You've been crying. Please don't worry. It is I who am guilty. And I alone must pay. Pay for what? Be punished because you love? Please. No. Let me speak. Hannibal has found out. He loves you, Sylvia, I tell you. The merchant has been in touch with me all these days. He came this morning with a message. Hannibal wants you to come to him. He's waiting for you. He loves you. I never betrayed you. You must believe me. I never betrayed you. orders to march. We're moving south to Venosa. We have to talk to you, Hannibal. Get everything started. We'll talk later. Wait. You certainly don't intend to take her along. My orders are to prepare to march. Obey them. That girl will be the ruin of us. Propose Varro for proconsul. Varro has fought Hannibal in Spain and in Italia. There is no other Roman who can better understand the moves of Hannibal and why he has suddenly decided to withdraw his forces when he was within reach of Rome. This withdrawal might be a strategic move on Hannibal's part. Let us not fall prey to easy optimism. Fabius is convinced that Hannibal is stronger today than ever. We are not interested in Fabius's opinions. And why doesn't he return to the Senate? Is your friend afraid to face the charge of consorting with the enemy? Yes! I am afraid, Varro. I am afraid. If I must defend myself, I accuse the Senate. All of you are failing your duty. And your idea of leading the people of Rome is to send your own flesh and blood to Hannibal, the enemy? I am ignorant of my niece's whereabouts. But if your suspicions 
turn out to be well-founded? If it is really true, I swear by all the gods that the day I will set eyes on Sylvia's face will be the day of her death. There is no woman alive who can influence Hannibal. No? Then explain to me why he uses every possible reason to avoid combat. You know very well that he has been trying to win new allies. We need arms and provisions badly. We didn't need arms and new allies after Trebia and Trasimeno. And Rome wasn't then in the desperate situation she is now. You defend your brother, but you do it without conviction. There is only one solution. Do away with the Roman girl. What? Accidents happen every day in the camp. The gate of the elephant's compound could be left open. And there are ways to stampede elephants. Are you out of your mind? If Hannibal found out... What is it? I acted on my own behalf. I knew you'd be difficult to convince. Some more torches. Get some torches. Back up, source. Out. Back. I was just frightened. Somebody tampered with the gates of the compound and stampeded the elephants. Don't leave her. You had better pray Hannibal ever finds out what you did. I did it for all of us. I'll take full responsibility. I'm only sorry that I failed. Failed in what? Failed in what? Yes. I tried to kill her. She had ruined you and all of us if you weren't my superior.
Hannibal is fighting a duel. You fought because of me, didn't you? Everything's right now. No. No, it isn't. Your men hate me. That's why they tried to kill me. And they'll hate you too if you continue to love me. I've caused nothing but suspicion and rebellion in your camp. Your men cannot forget that I am a Roman and their enemy. They will forget Sylvia. But will you? Everything is against us. Everything. Are you sorry you came to me? Dearest, I am not sorry. The Senate has made a grave error to appoint Varro commander of our army. He's a man who's ruled by impulse, not by reason. But they also have appointed Emilius. You always had faith in him. Yes. But how can an army be led by two commanders who hate each other? Emilius will know how to handle Varro. You'll see. Let's hope so. Never leave his side, Quintilis. <laughs> Couldn't have worked out better for us. But we are confronted with an army twice our size. Yes, but you forget one thing. The Roman army has two commanders. Two commanders that hate each other. You know what this means? Disorder, confusion, lack of unity, which we must take advantage of. The Romans are crossing the Ophantus River. They intend to attack in force. Here. This is the river, and this is the Roman troops. We will allow them to cross the river. Now, the only danger will be the Roman cavalry. But the way it's deployed will restrict its movements. Our infantry in the center will withdraw. As the Romans advance, we will move in on them from behind and cut them to pieces with our pincer. support in an emergency. It's my turn today, understand me. I am in command, obey my orders. But it is suicide. Your job is to obey. I'm sure I can do quite well without that great cavalry of yours. Phase 
one. Attack the outpost. Outpost are falling back. Good. Return to your post. Give the order to march. Hit the enemy in the center of his line. March! The fate of all of us depends on this battle. If we lose, we will be hunted down like criminals. Our army will be sold into slavery. We will never again see our homeland. But if we win, we will have the future of the Roman Empire in our hands. Hannibal, the Romans are attacking. Give orders the center must withdraw further. The Romans are falling into our trap. We can move our left wing. I'll take the right. Then we'll attack together. But the Romans haven't used their cavalry yet. They have the river at their backs. Whatever maneuver they try, they're finished. Thank <laughs> you. 
get the reserve. Alarm, Paul and Amelius in the cavalry. <laughs> We must attack and destroy the Carthaginian troops who encircle our infantry. Let's save our comrades. Hack a way out of the trap for them. Attack! Forward! Carthaginian cavalry is attacking in a pincer movement. It will be cut to pieces. They're out flank. Back to the river and recross it at all costs. Back to the river! Back to the river!
Consul Paulus Emilius is dead. The Roman woman has found the body of the son of Quintus Fabius down the river. Forgive this intrusion, Fabius. We are here in the name of the Senate. We know how deeply you grieve at the loss of your only son. This is his sword. Many fathers have lost their son. The gods have spared few homes. Fabius, we also came for another reason. To inform you that the Senate offers you the office of proconsul. This time on your own terms. You too, Lucius. Who have been my relentless opponent. Grave conditions demand the greatest leader. I hope I can live up to your expectations. I believe I speak for every Roman citizen when I say Rome will never submit to a foreign invader. In the words of Hannibal himself when he crossed the Alps, conquer or die. Council. He sent a message. Conquer or die. What else could he have answered? You sound pleased. No! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're giving a feast for me in Capua. I want you to go along with me. Please. I'd rather stay here. But you can't stay inside always by yourself. You must get out. <laughs> Too much of a letdown can become dangerous. Let them rest. If our brother and Marval come back to Carthage, there will be war again. I hope they bring the reinforcements. We need them badly. Don't worry. Yeah. Hanno, aren't you coming with us to Capua? The feast is in your honor. It looks like the feast is in your honor. <laughs> I'll go ahead. Be sure to join us later.
Carbal has just arrived. He's in your tent. Has to go. He's landed in Italia. One. Come to take my place beside you. The Judean priest told you that was impossible years ago. But I'm the mother of your son. Leave our child out of this. Delia, I want no more of your tricks. You've been very well provided for. And everything I own belongs to my son. I sent you to Carthage for reinforcements. Where are they? If you had followed my advice, Rome would now be destroyed. And Carthage would not have denied you your request. Denied my request? What do you mean? Hasdrubal is returning with only 4,000 men. 4,000 men? That's impossible. In Carthage, they think you are finished. I thought you might need me now. Uh Where did she go? She asked for a horse. She's gone. Let me go. Sylvia. Take her in your arms. Go back to her. I'm not going to explain my personal life to you or anyone. I love my son, Sylvia. And I love you. I understand you. I've had everything a woman could ask for of life. I've spent my happiest hours with you. Now I must return to Rome. If you go back to Rome, they'll put you to death. Fabius will understand, and he'll defend me. There! Stop! Wait! Take me with you, I'm Roman! 
Don't shoot. Take me away. You're too good for me. <laughs> All right. I'm afraid, but I'll do my best. Mercy! Mercy! Put out your hand, Roman. I'm going to chop it off. Stop it. <laughs> you should know better than that, Margo. Leave us alone. Go put the sword away. Your son does quite well. Since he was four years old, he has been taught by the best master at arms in Carthage. I tried my best to raise him, as you would have wanted me to. I've told you a thousand times I don't want him to be like me. I never want him to know the meaning of the words hate and revenge. Will you please take him back home? Do one thing decent in your life, Danelia. If not for me, for yourself. See? Wait, Hat. Wait. It's our brother. A Roman rider threw it into one of our outposts. I'm not afraid to die. will come soon and painlessly. see that it gets to him.
Spears, down. Brother, the Romans are attacking. Our first lines are crumbling. The destiny of Hannibal is sealed, driven by events he cannot undo. Bound forever to a terrible and barren oath, he will continue his ceaseless combat to the end. So he fought on for endless years March. in many lands. Maybe with a single hope left. March! That his son would never know the bitterness of command. The burden of framing the history of mankind. Yeah.